Hey, 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 it's the Vegas Hockey Girls. We're the sisters, Colleen and Mandy. And we have loved the Vegas Golden Knights since day FM1. That's right. So our goal with this podcast is to educate, inform, have fun, get you all up to date with everything Vegas Golden Knights, 15 minutes or less. We're learning as we go. We're not perfect, and we don't claim to be, so yay. Uh, new podcast after every game. And before we get started, let's take a moment to uh, honor the player that died. Um, we want to say rest in peace to Adam Johnson, who played for the Nottingham Panthers, who passed away yesterday during a game after receiving a skate blade to his throat. Oh my goodness. It was horrible, man. He was 29 years old, so. We can't forget the danger of this sport, you know, and the sharpness of those blades. Even Alec Martinez got a skate blade to his face at one time. He was standing up and the guy like fell and like kicked his foot up and it just whoosh. Wow. It was bad. Yeah. They had to evacuate the whole building. So. Well, rest in peace, Adam Johnson. Rest in peace. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Last game. So we played last night against LA and guess what? We, we won. won. Yeah, exactly. So a quick synopsis. End of one. We were down zero to one. And then 15 minutes into the second period, it was two to nothing. LA Kings were ahead. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> that was stressful. Then three minutes later, Mike Amadio with the goal, Vegas. So next thing you know, it's two to one. Vegas is still behind. Seven minutes into the second period and Carrier scores. Yay. Goal, Vegas. First of the year for our sweet Willie Carrier. <laughs> Willie, yeah. Game's all tied up, right? Two to two. So 13 minutes into the third and Mark Stoner, expressive Mark Stone, first shot of the night for Mark Stone and boom. Yeah. <laughs> Upstairs where mama hides the Halloween candy. So it's three to two. Vegas is up. A minute and a half left. You know what happens here. LA Kings pull their goalie so they have an empty net and it's six on five they're trying to score they're trying to score and dowdy one of their best players goes upstairs from a long ways away he got all of that one the game is tied i don't even know if the goalie saw that one it was fast i was looking for the speed but they never did mention the speed probably at least 90 miles an hour on that one game is tied three to three we're going into overtime and i'm at ed sheeran watching this <laughs> on my phone my sisters you can check our twitter my sister's on her phone during the ed sheeran concert which was amazing um watching the <laughs> hockey game i'm getting alerts from nhl watching twitter looking for adam cutting her power play <laughs> so uh no score in the overtime what a juicy overtime but no score it was tough we play really good three on three hockey but then the shootout only one person made a goal during the shootout and that was the birthday boy Yay. jack eichel right on happy birthday jack jack so mvp the birthday boy jack eichel and vegas wins that one in overtime four to three vegas is eight zero and one that's our record so really quickly i want to go over one new thing we haven't talked about how the scoring and how the standings work so the standings actually work by points and it's different than the points that the guys earn during the game. If you win a game in hockey, you get two points. If you lose, you get zero points. And if you win in overtime, you get two points. And if you lose in overtime, you get one point. So the league standings currently with all the teams, VGK has 17 points. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Boston has 15, New York Rangers 12, and Colorado has 12. Also in our Western Conference with all the points, VGK is in first place in the Western Conference with 17 points. Colorado is 12 points, so we play pretty soon. They're going to be a good game. Uh, Vancouver has 11 points, and LA Kings have 10 points. So that's a good uh, idea of where everybody's standing at this time. And then, so you know, the Stanley Cup playoffs is eight teams from each of the two conferences qualifying for the Stanley Cup playoffs based on these regular season points. So again, a win is two points. A loss is zero points. A win in overtime is two points. And you get one point if you lose in overtime. That's why everybody always says, well, we got a point. You know, you need every point. Every point counts right till the end because we know last year teams are barely making it into the Remember playoffs. Remember the Bruins was like way up in the 90s and we were in the 70s. Yeah, we needed every point. And, and that goes to show you too, who won the cup? We did. Vegas, <laughs> right? All right, so uh, that's how points work and that's how the standings work. And here's Mandy with Player Spotlight. Today, the player I'm doing is Paul Cotter, number 43 of the Vegas Golden Knights. 
He was born November 16, 1999, which makes him 23 years old. He was born in Canton, Michigan. Yeah, USA boy. Yep. Paul does not have a girlfriend. He is focusing on his hockey career. He with... is so cute, but he's such a baby face. Yeah. <laughs> his first ever hockey league was in 2015. He played for the Little Caesars. <laughs> Little and... Caesars. I know. I would not pizza, pizza. <laughs> I, would, I would not want to play for that hockey team. Wow. The little Caesars oh. in the HPHL league. His first NHL team was the Vegas Golden Knights when he oh was selected God. in the fourth round at the 2018 NHL entry draft. During the 2021 and 2022 season, Cotter was recalled by the VGK and played his first game against the Kraken on November 9, 2021. So Paul Cotter was asked, does he prefer the drive through or a buffet? He said the drive through at Jimmy John's. He orders the number 16 with no tomatoes, but his favorite food of all times is Penny Alfredo. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I do love me some Penny Alfredo. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Wow. He likes to drive through. He's a smart guy, right? <laughs> yeah. He lives here long enough to not be a fan of buffets. Yeah. You know how long that takes, right? I don't prefer buffets either. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave there sick. <laughs> right, exactly. All right. Well, cool. Paul Cotta. Polly. So, anyway, Lingo Spotlight by me, Colleen. So, we're still going over penalties quickly. Uh, misconduct, a misconduct penalty is any action deemed worthy of an extended penalty. Some examples of misconduct penalties is using abusive language, challenging an official's ruling, or intentionally disrupting the game. Uh, misconduct penalties can go up to 10 minutes. Uh, roughing is any contact that is unnecessary, such as pushing or shoving or aggressive contact after the whistle. That's roughing. Slashing, didn't we have a slash last night? I think uh, um, from yeah, I think we Barbie. got Barbie. Barbie should have got a slashing. It's just like what it sounds: swinging the stick in a forceful motion and hitting another player. Oh man, Petrangelo got a bad one last year. People were mad. He even got suspended because he just totally hurt someone. Uh, spearing it makes me think of Britney Spears. <laughs> uh, spearing <laughs> happens when you dance on Twitter. No, <laughs> spearing happens when a player stabs his or her opponent with a stick. Spearing, tripping is the use of the stick or your leg to trip an opponent. So here's a couple common, commonly asked questions about hockey penalties. Are penalties in the NHL the same as college? No, penalties in the NHL are not the same as same as college, not the same as high school or youth leagues. All levels of play have different penalty enforcement rules. Many of the same penalty exists on all levels, but younger players may have stricter guidelines on what and how much contact is allowed. Do specific officials look to call on ice penalties? Yes, the referee is responsible for all penalties while the linesmen watch for offsides, icing, and two line pass infractions. And then what is the penalty for fighting in the NHL? I always wondered this, it's like they let them fight, but then but there's penalties, you know? So that's basically how it works. You can fight, but you're going to be penalized. So the penalty for fighting in the NHL starts with both players involved receiving at least a five-minute major penalty. Additional penalties, such as an ejection from the game, can be given if the referee deems necessary. Players can also be fined for fighting and also suspended. Somebody really gets hurt bad. But it's funny because they're, they're union um, skaters, so the fines are always like 2000 or 5000 It's nothing, but it does go to a good cause, so... Anyway, that's the end of uh, penalties at this time. And here's upcoming events by Mandy. First of all, we want to say happy birthday to Jack yesterday. Yay! Since we didn't have a podcast yesterday to wish him a happy birthday. He's 27 years old. So Aww, He's a baby. Yeah. Our next game is October 30th at T-Mobile at 7 p.m. against the Canadians, the Habs. Tomorrow. Do you know why they call them the Habs? Why do they call them the Habs? Because a French Canadian, it's a French Canadian abbreviation for Les Habitants, a name for the early Canadian settlers of New France in the 1600s. Oh, Les Habitants! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we usually have a practice the day before at City National Arena, but that's today, and I haven't heard nothing. And I would be there right now if we were having a practice. And also, we have a morning skate the day of the game at City National Arena. 
but they haven't said nothing about that either so yeah those are usually optional right yeah so you never know who's going to show up and did you know on the habs jersey if you look on it it has an h on there so that's why a lot of people think that the h is for the less habitants but actually they say it's for hockey oh yeah yeah you'll notice the h on their jersey and then um mark your calendars you guys for december 2nd there's a raid the night craft and vendor fair yeah it's vgk themed it takes place at the palo verde high school in summerlin so that should be cool and also december 3rd is the ladies of the night sip and shop uh a holiday vendor fair at the end casino so yes who's gonna be there me we are no my <laughs> sister's gonna be there i'll be with my toes in the sand in mexico I'm on a vacation, but yeah, go to that definitely. So um, if anybody wants to help me load some rocks, no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> exactly. So uh, make sure you mark your calendars. You can come by our booth, see the rocks that we're always talking about, uh, grab a business card, and meet Mandy, VGK Goalie Girl, right? Yay. Awesome. Yeah, we'll be reminding you about that. So injuries, uh, we still have White Cloud, and we also have Nick Waugh. He is day to day. I'm not sure what happened with him, but I think hopefully he'll be skating tomorrow. Um, he hurt. It looked like he hurt his elbow at the game that we went to. And so he um, hasn't played since then. But coach says it's nothing serious and he's day to day. So where can people find you online? BGK Goalie Girl on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all of them. Right, exactly. My email is also VGK Goalie Girl, but just email our podcast. At Gmail? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, Vegas Hockey Girls at gmail.com. Uh, write us, leave us a message. Please share our podcast. Um, we're getting good, um, a lot of listeners, so that good. We're the Hockey Girls Pod on Twitter X, Sister Rocks on Facebook, and also have a good day, you guys, and we'll see you guys tomorrow after the game. Within 24 hours after the game, we usually post a new podcast. And um, go Knights, go. Go Knights. Beat the Canadians, les habitants. <laughs> <laughs>